Question one will ask voters whether they want to raise taxes on individuals making more than $128,400 a year in order to fund a universal home care program. About 30 business and health care leaders gathered together at a press conference this morning to urge Mainers to vote no. We, we've got to beat this thing and we've got to beat it solidly and decisively. Lobbyist Newell Auger is heading up the newly formed coalition opposing the universal home care ballot question. Among those urging no on question one, Colleen Hilton, president and CEO of VNA Home Health Hospice. Well, it sounds so benign, doesn't it? Who would not be in favor of universal home care? We would love that. But when you really unpack what's in the, the, the citizens' initiative, it's a little alarming. Question one opponents fear the universal home care question contains language that would jeopardize the privacy of people receiving the care. Other concerns? The creation of an oversight board with no oversight, a lack of income or residency requirements for people receiving benefits, and language opponents fear compels home care workers to join unions. The left-leaning Maine People's Alliance is the group pushing the yes side of question one. Campaign volunteer Merca Lyons struggled to respond to the arguments her opponents are making. I think it's confusing on the wording and, um, you know, as, as much as I've tried to explain it, I think the bill itself is simply written that people who need home care will get it if this bill is passed. They don't even understand the, the, the impact of what it is they've pushed through. It's a scam and Maine people need to vote no on it. Later in the afternoon, Maine People's Alliance Communications Director Mike Tipping added this. It's cheaper to help people stay at home where they can get the best care from their families and trained professional home care workers. It doesn't matter how many lobbyists they hire to fight this. I think voters will do the right thing. If question one passes, it would impose a 10.95% state tax rate on Mainers making above that threshold, 128 for a year. The only other tax brackets in the nation that are higher are in California and Hawaii, and they apply to people pulling down far more than 128 grand annually. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.